What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another review. This time we're taking a look at Bride of the Gorilla, written and directed by Kurt Siodmak. Let's waste no time. Let's get right into it. When all is said and done, I enjoy Bride of the Gorilla. I think that this is a really good ripoff <laughs> of the Universal Studios monster movie, The Wolfman. And being that Kurt Siodmak wrote this movie and wrote The Wolfman, you can see that this movie has a lot of similarities with its Universal Studios counterpart. And also having Lon Chaney Jr. in both these films is a nice little link between the two films, between those between those two bridges. But looking at Bride of the Gorilla as a whole, I enjoyed it. It's a fun little B-monster movie. Um, it does have a lot of areas where it does drag in certain, as in certain moments. But for what it is, I enjoyed it. I think the cast in this movie is actually really solid. You know, Barbara Payton, Lon Chaney Jr., and Raymond Burr, who are the three principals, I thought they all did really good in their roles. Uh, Raymond, uh, Robert Crampton plays a character called Dina, who is married to this rich plantation owner, but she's not really having a fulfilling life. But this, the character of Barney, played by Raymond, by, by Raymond Burr, is trying, does promises her uh, what uh, promises her a very fulfilling life, and this is what causes the Barney Chavez character to pretty much kill his boss. Unfortunately. There was a witness to Barney's crime, and this particular witch, this witch doctor, pretty much, places a curse upon Par Barney's head, which pretty much, which turns him into a uh, raging gorilla beast. And the entire movie is pretty much Barney uh, succumbing to the curse and succumbing to pretty much loving the jungle life more than loving the human life. He becomes less and less detached from his humanity and starts to embrace the more animal, animal, animal side of him, of himself. And uh, I thought Raymond Burr did a really good job at showcasing his character's uh, mental decline as the film progresses. My only gripe with it is that I don't think Barney comes across as very sympathetic. Since when we first meet him, we already know that there's something, not, there's something off about this guy. And the fact that he has no remorse into killing his boss doesn't make him any less, doesn't make him any more likable. I think he should have been. I think he should have had a more conflict as opposed to when it when it comes to killing his boss, so that way we do have some sort of sympathy for him. But he just comes across as just unsympathetic to me, at least, just very detached. But again, I'm not going to complain. I do like Raymond Burr's performance in the movie overall. I thought it was fine. Uh, Lon Chaney Jr. He plays a he plays a commissioner, a police commissioner named Taro, who is doing a lot of invest, who is doing the investigations as the, to the animal killings that's going around, around. And I thought Cheney was really good in the role. It's a supporting role. He doesn't have he's not he's not in the movie a whole lot, but in the scenes that he is in, he's very very good. And if Cheney's health was in a much better place, I think he would have been much better in the lead role of Barney Chavez, because I think Cheney would have given would have given the character some sympathetic since some, some sympathetic qualities since when you watch the wolfman Lon, the uh, character of Lawrence Tarbert is very sympathetic he's very sympathetic and a lot of that has to do with Cheney's uh, performance no different in this movie no different in this movie in the character of Taro you know Taro is a very superstitious cop but he has a sympathetic side to him as well and a lot of that has to do with Lon Cheney Jr's performance once again can't complain uh, the actors who played Mr. Van Gilder and Dr. Viet, who are two other ma major characters in this film, I thought they did fine in the roles as well. Uh, Van Gilder, his, his Van Gilder is fine in the scenes that he shares with Barney, and you can see that there's a very intense conflict and dislike between the two, and we see why Barney want, and we and we and we see and we see the events that lead to Barney pretty much staging his death. Uh, all that stuff is okay. The Dr. Viet character. He's kind of just there to uh, give his de to give his scientific diagnosis every now and then, and the movie also flat out says that he is also in love with the Dina character. Like everyone in this movie is in love with this woman. It's ridiculous. They're all willing to kill her for this one for this one piece of ass. Hey, listen, Barbara Crampton, Barbara Barbara, Pl Barbara Payton. She's a gorgeous woman. I uh, I probably would be the <laughs> I probably would be in their boat too if I was in the fifties. But yeah, I thought the performances were fine. Uh, now, from an overall aesthetic and directorial standpoint, this is a really good looking movie. I like the South American landscape. The jungles look beautiful and foreboding all at once. I think Kurt Siad Max directing in this movie is really, really good. The cinematography is solid. Like, like Charles Van Anger and Kurt Siad Max really captured the mystical mysticism of the South American jungle 
in all its uh, qualities. And we kind of get the sense of how this jungle can seduce this the, the character of Barney and how it just like drags him right in, along with being cursed with, you know, along with having a curse placed on him. Uh, now, when it comes to the actual gorilla of the monster, we don't really see a whole lot of the gorilla of the gorilla monster we see bits and pieces and flashes of it but it's never really we don't really get to see a full view of it as opposed to the wolfman where we see it a lot uh curse yad mac tries to go for a more psychological take with this film and i think in some aspects it works in other aspects i would have liked to see maybe one full scene of the raymond burr in full gorilla in full gorilla mode instead of just everything being told to us through dialogue and just brief flashes here and there to me i think that kind of hurts the movie just a little bit that we don't get to see too much of the monster but when we do get to see it it actually does look good and it actually does look realistic for the for the most part and of course we don't really see it like the last five minutes of the film is where we get to see the monster in full form though from though not really up in your face so it's kind of a give and take type deal but uh but yeah, that's pretty much it. Those are my thoughts on Bride of the Gorilla. I enjoy this movie. It's not that bad. It's good. I don't like it on the same par as the Universal Monster movies, but for what it is, it's enjoyable, which is why I'm going to give it a solid 6 out of 10. Give it a watch. It ain't bad. So yeah, those are my thoughts on Bride of the Gorilla. Let me know yours in the comment sections down below. Like the video and subscribe. And I'll check you back next time for more.